Now, just a, a, some quick tips if I'm, I'm in a restaurant. Do you really, do you really smell the cork? Um, no. <laughs> um, smelling the cork doesn't uh, really confirm anything one way or another. If you think the wine is corked, you're going to know that a lot more by smelling the wine than you are by smelling the cork. So, it's, you know, it's interesting. I mean, a cork can suggest a couple of things. I mean, if it's an all, if it's a crumbly cork that has, you know, that basically hasn't held up, then you can suspect that there's been some oxygen that's gotten in there and there's perhaps some oxidation that's taken place. But that would just be vis visually you could see it. Or if the cork was all, all red from the wine, then you'd know that the wine had seeped up all the way to the top and was in contact with the air and that would not be good. But, so that's an interesting question, but no, I, I, don't, I don't smell the cork. See, you don't have to worry about that with a screw cap. <coughs> you're certainly not going to smell the screw cap. <laughs> okay, now, so if um, this is great, if, if anyone wants to find out more about your, your courses or your school, you mentioned your, your, your website, and um, that's the www.westchesterwineschool.com. Westchesterwineschool.com. Ed Tull, Director of Westchester Wine School, thank you so much. We'll My pleasure. We'll check in with you maybe back in January. Hey, I'd love to be back. <laughs> thank you. I'm Karen McBride, thanks for tuning in.